Hello everyone. Let's start the another interesting topics of the WebRTC tutorial series. Today we are going to discuss about another WebRTC API called RTC Data Channel. First of all, welcome all to Engineering Semester Channel. We are providing new emerging technologies tutorials. <music> If you are new to this channel or new to this WebRTC series, please go and watch our introduction part first. Let us get started. In the previous discussion, we have discussed that what is WebRTC and what are the different APIs used in WebRTC. Now let us recap what we have understood as of now. WebRTC is web-based real-time communication. The three APIs that comprise WebRTC that are Get User Media, RTC Data Channel, and RTC Peer Connection. We have already discussed about Get User Media and RTC Peer Connection APIs in detail. If you are new to this, I have given the video links in the description box. Please go and watch first. In brief, Get User Media API is responsible for capturing and transmitting data. The data are either audio or video from a webcam or microphone. RTC Peer Connection API is used to connect peers across the Internet. This is the pillar of the WebRTC connection. We already know that WebRTC is very useful when we required video or audio communication. Now suppose you want to transfer only text data. For example, you want to create application for chatting gaming or file transfer. Then how can we use WebRTC for this application? Is there any way to use WebRTC in this case? Yes, of course. The WebRTC standard also covers an API for sending arbitrary data over a RTC peer connection. This API is called RTC Data Channel. This channel is responsible for the exchange of all real-time data. Here one thing you should remember. This data are not video and audio data. These are only text data. Using this channel, we can transfer data directly from one peer to another. Now you might think why we require data channel, right? We can use some socket or AJAX method to send data. Why do we need another communication channel here? But for all these method you required a server. If you are using socket, data first sent to socket and store it in server then it's sent to other user. So we have to use the server in this case. This will take more time. The main advantage of WebRTC data channel is the speed. It doesn't require any intermediate server and also it has lower latency. It uses stream control transmission protocol, SCTP. It allows for asynchronous delivery and retransmit configuration. Now coming to core part of this API. It supports blob, array buffer, and array buffer view formats. These types can be helpful when working with file transfer and multiplayer gaming. You may require chunks of data to be processed using JavaScript. Here SCTP will provide to developers to allow for configurable reliability and delivery, message-oriented transmission, flow control, and congestion control. RTC Data Channel will secure the passing data with datagram transport layer security. In short, DTLS. DTLS is a standard protocol that is built into all browsers that support WebRTC. So in general, RTC Data Channel will offer speedy and secure way to transport data from browser to browser. Next let us see how to configure the channel. The data channel object is created from an already established RTC peer connection. You can set optional configuration settings like ordered, maximum packet lifetime and maximum retransmits in the channel. One important thing is that you can only specify maximum retransmits or maximum packet lifetime, not both. I have provided a sample screenshot of the data channel connection. It will give you a better idea of about how can we create RTC data channel and how to configure the options. It also provide different events or methods. Some of them are. 
Once the connection is established, closed, or errors, and when it receives a message from the other peer. These events are given in the sample code. Now we have to discuss how powerful WebRTC data channel. For example, if you want to send more data like a file, you already know that WebRTC is based on JavaScript. So handling large amounts of data can be a complex process in JavaScript. But in this case, we can use File System API. In general, you can share your files in the browser and also the transferred file data is encrypted too. This is very much powerful feature. Not only sharing the file, this WebRTC channel will not store any of the datas in the server. Some of the useful use cases are You can create using WebRTC data channel are File sharing, multiplayer gaming, and content delivery. You can make application with using high-performance, low-latency connections through RTC data channel. It is more powerful than you think. That's it for now. I hope you got a better idea about WebRTC Data Channel API now. And also we understood that, how can we use data channels for WebRTC application? If you are thinking this is informative, then like and share subscribe. Also support us. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.